Kevin Durant is one of the best scorers in today's NBA, but what if he played in the 80s? Would he struggle against more physical defenses? Today, I'm putting Kevin Durant in the 1985 NBA draft to find out. We gotta start it off by finding out where Kevin Durant will begin his NBA career. Let's check out the draft lottery and see what teams are picking in the top three. Because I'm assuming KD's a lock to be a top three pick. It looks like the Warriors have the number one pick, the Knicks are picking it two, and the Bulls are picking it three. So there's a chance that we could see KD team up with Mike if he falls down to number three. With the first overall pick in the 1985 NBA draft, the Golden State Warriors select Carl Malone, so Kevin Durant is still on the board. At two, the New York Knicks are going to take Wayman Tisdale over KD leaving Durant on the board for Chicago to team up with MJ and Mike is gonna get a great teammate. Two of the best scorers of all time are gonna be playing alongside each other. And at this point, MJ is headed into his second season. He's already up to a 93 overall. Durant comes in as a rookie at an 81 overall. And I could see this team making the playoffs just because Michael Jordan is so good. But without any more talking, let's get into year number one, Kevin Durant's rookie season. season one is wrapped magic wins mvp and kevin duran is having no problem in the 80s averaging 25 points seven rebounds and five assists as a rookie with incredible efficiency over 50 percent from the field and over 45 percent from the three-point line. Durant was even named to All-NBA second team as an 18-year-old rookie. His teammate MJ made All-NBA first team as well. But unfortunately, this did not translate to team success. We just barely missed out on the NBA playoffs, winning 39 games. It's clear though, Michael Jordan and Kevin Durant are going to be a formidable duo for years to come. We're just going to need the Bulls to put some better players around. Them. And one way to do that could be through the draft. We have a 14.3% chance at the number one overall pick, and it looks like we're going to land the fifth pick. That's not too bad. We'll definitely have an opportunity to add somebody decent in this year's draft. And at five, we're going to take Len Bias. Of course, have to say rest in peace to Len. Bias should be an incredible addition to this team, though, alongside Durant and Michael Jordan. No way we miss out on the playoffs this season with KD going up to an 86 overall and Michael Jordan up to a 96 we're about to be out there playing great basketball. Year two of KD's career is wrapped and Michael Jordan wins the MVP award. And let me tell y'all, we were out there playing some great basketball, winning a lot of games. Durant ended up making all NBA second team. The numbers went up. He averaged 27, eight and six on the year. And he also averaged two steals and two blocks, which is elite. Yeah, KD made all defensive second team as well. Also, Len Bob Bias made all rookie first team. And with the great play of Bias, Jordan, and Durant, we ended up winning 61 games on the season, ending the year off on an 18 game win streak. In round number one, we're gonna be taking on the Cavs, we sweep them. Next up, it's gonna be the New York Knicks. We were down three to one early, but we managed to win game five. Let's see if we can win game six here in four seven, we're gonna lose. Mike averaged 40 in these NBA playoffs. Durant averaged over 30, and Bias gave us about 15. These guys were incredible for us. You can't blame them for our playoff shortcomings. I think ultimately we're just going to need to get more experience as a team and hopefully the front office can add some decent role players around our guys and then we'll really be in business. Durant is up to a 90 overall headed into year number three. Michael Jordan's up to a 98 and Len Bias is up to an 82. Also for some reason the game's been bugging. Kevin Durant has not been getting older as the simulation has gone on. I had to manually make him 19, but I think he should be 20 headed into year three. So I went ahead and changed that. And now we can get into another season. Season number three is wrapped and look who won MVP, Kevin Durant. Averaging 29 points, eight boards, six assists, two steals, two blocks. Incredible efficiency as he wins the award. Mike wins DPOY, and our coach, Kevin Lawry, wins Coach of the Year. What a season it was for our team. KD even made 
all defensive first team this season and Len Bias gave us over 18 a night this squad is looking scary headed into the NBA playoffs in the first round we're going to be taking on the Washington Bullets I didn't really acknowledge the fact that we signed Fat Lever in the offseason but he's definitely a huge pickup for this team as an 87 overall PG but let's go ahead and just cook the Bullets in round one we're going to take them down in a sweep next up it'll be the New York Knicks led by Bernard King one of the best scorers in the 80s so this should be tough game one will go to us we also take game two we're up three to zero and we sweep the Knicks Kevin Durant in the conference finals in just his third season and next up we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks led by Sidney Moncrief this is definitely a solid team but I don't know if they're better than that New York team we just swept we're going to win game one of this series Bucks win game two and three okay I underestimated Milwaukee we are down three to one here we're going to take game five and six all right KD you've got a chance to complete this 3-1 comeback and make the NBA Finals let's see if you can do it we're up in the fourth quarter and it looks like we're gonna run away with this game MJ with a 40 ball Durant with 22 10 and 9 and we're moving on to the finals completing that 3-1 comeback but now we've got to beat the Lakers and of course this is gonna be no easy task Magic, Worthy, Kareem, Byron Scott, Jamal Wilkes this lineup is great game one of the series will go to us we also take game two and three no way we're about to sweep the los angeles lakers we just swept the lakers kevin durant is a champion in just his third season getting off to a hot start to his nba career in the 80s a finals mvp and an mvp in the same season come on kd headed into year four for durant he's up to a 92 overall mike is up to a 99 and len bias is an 84 we've got such a good squad man with the team getting even better i don't see why we can't repeat let's see if kd can go for two in a row year four is wrapped and michael jordan wins mvp this time duran had to give his teammate a chance to win the award and our coach Derek Taylor won coach of the year as we won 66 games on the season. Kevin Durant was on second team this year. Scoring dropped off just a bit, but that's fine. We were winning a lot of basketball games. Clearly, what Durant was doing was working. Len Bias is continuing to get better for the team. Things were going well. In round one, we make easy work of the Bucks. Next up, it's going to be Philadelphia. We're up 2-1 to one early. They're going to tie it up at two apiece. All right, we might just have ourselves a series the Sixers have Charles Barkley and Isaiah Thomas this might be a tough one we're gonna jump into the simcast for game five of this series as we're all tied up right now at two apiece and it looks like game five is gonna come down to the wire about two and a half minutes to go here and we have a two-point lead the Sixers have the ball Isaiah Thomas gonna give it over to Wiggins Wiggins looking for Barkley in the post he finds him Barkley gonna ball fake fade away and miss the jumper ball goes to Len Bias Bias gives it right to Kevin Durant. Let's see KD in action for the first time in this video. Durant is doubled. He finds Bias, and Bias gets an AM1. Come on, Len. And Len Bias converts on the free throw. Our lead expands to five points. Isaiah Thomas bringing it up. He's defended by his good buddy, Michael Jordan. Thomas in the mid-range here. Good defense for Mike. It's going to go over to Mo Cheeks. Cheeks defended by Lever. Gives it to Thomas. Now it goes back down to Barkley. Barkley backing down his man. Going to put up the layup and miss it. We get the rebound. Ball goes to Michael Jordan. MJ gives it right to Durant. Durant over to Fat Lever. Lever gives it back to KD. KD over to Jordan. Now it goes to Len Bias. Bias has the miss match he swings it to lever lever down to kd durant's layup is off it's rebounded by barkley now it goes up to mo cheeks cheeks gonna give it to charles barkley barkley's been cold on these past couple possessions we'll see if he can get something going he's kind of just standing there right now he's making his move finally not much time left on the shot clock barkley needs to shoot he's gonna pull a three ball and miss it it's rebounded by michael jordan now the ball goes up to len bias bias defended by barkley goes up 
over him and misses it. Barkley grabs the board. Now it goes up to Wiggins. The Sixers are running out of time. They need a bucket, but our defense is absolutely incredible here in the clutch. Cheeks is going to get the screen. He fakes. He's going to put up a floater and get it to go to put the Philadelphia 76ers within three, meaning that there is no need for them to foul right now. They've just got to play some good defense. Oh, but they're not playing good defense. Durant, a free layup to give us a five-point lead once again. If you're Chicago, coming out of this timeout, you just don't want to let up a three-pointer. Give up a two, that's probably fine. We just do not want to give them any good looks on that three-point line. Ball goes into Isaiah Thomas. Thomas going to the basket on Mike, and he gets the layup to go. That puts Philadelphia within three. We're going to need to knock down some clutch free throws here. Jordan at the line. First one is good. Second one for Mike is off. Come on, MJ. Barkley's going to grab the board. Sixers still have a decent amount of time. It goes to Thomas. Thomas over to Cheeks. Cheeks going to pull a three and miss Barkley the board. And the Sixers are kind of in this game, especially if we miss another free throw. It's going to be MJ going to the line once again. Mike, there's no way you miss a free throw here first one is good second one for jordan is also good okay we've got a four point lead only seven seconds to go we should be good here moses malone gives it into mo cheeks cheeks gonna have to pull from three. Oh my gosh he airballed ggs man Kevin Durant, 29, 9, and 10 as we get the dub. We just need one more win to move on to the conference finals. And in game six, we've got another close one. The Sixers are down by two here. They have the ball with 20 seconds to go. Wiggins with it. He's defended by Jordan. Wiggins over to Walker. Walker going to swing it back to Wiggins. And now it goes to Thomas. Isaiah Thomas gets the screen from Walker. He's defended by the big. Thomas, not much time left. Going to have to put something up he puts up a tough midi and misses we're moving on to the conference finals that was too close for comfort isaiah thomas had 39 in this one but it's not going to be enough to ran at 28 mj 25 and next up it's going to be the atlanta hawks dominique wilkins and dennis rodman they've also got larry drew game one of the series will go to us we also take game two okay this is going to be easy huh we sweep them and now we've got a rematch against the Lakers I don't know how we swept them last year but this season they've definitely got worse they don't have Kareem on the team anymore so if we swept them last time we might be able to sweep them again considering they don't have Kareem game one will go to us Lakers win game two we're gonna take game three and four the Lakers will win game five so hopefully we close this one out in six we don't want to give them any hopes of making that 3-1 comeback okay the Lakers just forced game seven Seven. This could get ugly. We don't want to see KD blow a 3-1 to one lead here. And in Game 7 of the NBA Finals, we've got another close one. Minute 14 to go here. We're sitting on a 4-point lead, and we have possession of the ball. So not a bad spot to be in if you're Chicago, but it's definitely not out of reach for the Los Angeles Lakers. Kevin Durant has the basketball. We need Easy Money Sniper to come through. He's going to give it down to Mike. Mike, the signature fade is good. That gives us a six point lead about a minute to go here lakers are gonna have to get some offense going quick byron scott with the ball he gives it down to magic magic swings it to dawkins and dawkins is gonna bring the house down with that dunk oh my goodness that was nice bring the house down is crazy what am i 50 also real quick if you're enjoying the video so far i'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing we're trying to hit 40k anyway ball's gonna go to duran and the lakers are gonna foul they didn't have a foul to give why would they do that 2k y'all gotta work on that because there was no reason for la to foul so early durant's gonna cash out on both free throws giving us a six point lead i mean we'll take it i guess game ball's gonna go to magic johnson johnson over to scott scott is defended by mike he's gonna get the screen here from dawkins lakers getting absolutely clamped scott doesn't know what to do he swings it to magic magic over to scott for a tough midi and he's gonna miss it that should do it the chicago bulls 
are going to go back to back on championships. Durant with 45 in game seven to close out this series and win championship number two. Michael Jordan wins finals MVP this time, averaging about 30 PPG in the finals. And we might just be building a dynasty in Chicago with our young guys continuing to get better. I have high hopes for this team moving forward. Another MVP for Kevin Durant and what a resume Durant is putting together at this point. We won 70 games on the year. Michael Jordan made all NBA first team and of course with 70 wins, you're the number one seed, right? That was pretty much a given. So in round number one, we've got Orlando. I think this should be light work. Next round, we got the Knicks. Again, should be easy. And now we've got Philly in the conference finals. They gave us some trouble last year. In the second round, we were able to get out of there hopefully we can beat them again game one will go to us game two also goes to us we're up three to zero and we sweep them so we're undefeated headed into the nba finals against the blazers who have bernard king and clyde drexler a tough duo to say the least game one will go to us we also win game two. Oh my gosh we just went undefeated in the nba playoffs a perfect 15 and 0 as kevin durant wins his third championship in a row and his second finals MVP what a run and coming off of the championship I don't see why we can't go for four in a row although we do not have fat lever on the team anymore so that might make things a little bit more difficult but nonetheless the big three of Jordan Pius and Durant should be at least enough to make us a surefire contender another season in the books and another MVP for Kevin Durant Mike and Durant make the all NBA first team and we won 71 games so clearly we did not need fat lieber on the team we picked up right where we left off without him round number one we got the washington bullets and we go ahead and we beat them in four next up it'll be new york we beat them in five in the conference finals we've got new jersey led by david robinson the admiral might give us some trouble he's a dominant force in the front court okay never mind we're up three to one they win game five and six okay i knew the admiral was give us some trouble man we're headed to a game seven here against the new jersey nets kd don't blow a 3-1 lead now man all right he's gonna get the job done in game seven making the finals once again oh my gosh bro d rob's on another level but we were somehow able to get past him durant's having another dominant playoff run and next up it's gonna be the suns with reggie miller and brad daughtry game one of the series will go to us we also win game two and three they're gonna win game four but we close Close it out in five. That is four in a row for Kevin Durant. He's also got three MVPs. The resume is incredible at this point. And he is only six seasons into his NBA career with four championships to show for those six years of play. That's incredible, man. We've still got our core three guys, so let's see if we can go for five in a row. Durant, another MVP. He might just become the greatest of all time in this video because he's playing with one of the players who people talk about as the greatest ever. I'm not here for the LeBron or Jordan debate right now, but Michael Jordan is pretty much regarded by everyone as a top two player of all time, right? And somehow in this video, Kevin Durant has been outshining him, winning lots of MVPs, winning finals MVPs, and the Bulls have been great with them as teammates. They won 66 games this year, another elite season. Round one, we're going to sweep the Hornets. Round two, we got the Cavs. We beat them in five. Next up, it's going to be New Jersey. Okay, we lost in six, man. I thought for sure we were going to beat them, but the run ends here. Michael Jordan, a solid effort, but it's not going to be enough. Len Bias, a great effort, and Kevin Durant did his thing, but ultimately, we end up losing our championship streak ends at four in a row but i mean hey that's a really good streak of championships and we still have all of our key players so it's not like our run is completely over we should have plenty of more chances to go out there and compete for titles all of our key players are in their primes another year in the books d rob wins mvp this time kd couldn't get another one michael jordan made all nba first team durant made the second team this time scoring dropped off a lot for KD this year but the team was still really good 66 win in the first round we got Indiana we're gonna sweep them next up we got the Hawks we're up three to one on them and we beat them in five in the conference finals it's gonna be New York and man this team
team is really underwhelming. I think we got this one for sure. We're up three to one and they're gonna win game five. We close it out in six though. In the NBA finals, it's gonna be the Phoenix Suns with Reggie Miller and Brad Daughtry. I think we beat this team before. We're gonna win games one and two. They take game three, we win game four and close out the series in five. KD, another finals MVP. Scoring was down in the regular season, but he turned it up in the playoffs, nearly averaging a triple double on top of some great scoring numbers for KD. So the team is back on top. We lost last year, but we were able to make it back to the NBA finals this season and win a title. Team's looking solid. Let's see if we can go for two in a row. Another season in the books, Kevin Durant wins MVP and somebody on our team had to be named MVP this season because we were historically great winning 74 basketball games. We might just be unstoppable, man. That one year we lost, it was a fluke. Let's go ahead and get back to the finals. This is a chance for Durant and MJ to win their sixth championship. And so far, we are cooking these teams in the playoffs. We've only lost one game and we're in the finals taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Okay, this is a tough team. Kevin Johnson, Gary Payton, Chris Mullen, and Sabonis? We might be in trouble here. Game one of the series will go to us. We also win game two and three. Okay, never mind. We swept them. Michael Jordan wins finals MVP, and that is championship number six already for KD, MJ, and Len Bias. Am I crazy to say that I could see Kevin Durant winning 10 rings in this video? I mean, he's only 27 and he already has six. Kevin Durant winning another MVP and we won 74 games again. We of course were the one seed with 74 wins, right? Round number one, we got the Boston Celtics. This should be pretty easy. I accidentally have been simulating it game by game. There we go. We take care of them in a sweep. Next up, it's going to be the Cavs. We sweep them. Conference finals, we got Philly. We're up three to one one on them and we take care of them in five back in the finals taking on the sonics with mitch richmond scotty pippen and carl malone a really solid team for sure game number one in the series will go to the sonics they also take game two we're gonna win game three and four so let's jump in the simcast for game five scotty and the sonics might just take us down here we've got to lock in in this big game okay it looks like we're gonna run away with the game five win durant only 11 points in this one he fouled out in 27 minutes luckily d brown and michael jordan had his back in this one and now we just need this last win and kd will win his seventh ring and it looks like we're gonna get it michael jordan with 31 to finish the job kd only 20 not a great final series for duran and as a result michael jordan wins finals mvp seven championships for kd i've done hundreds of simulations on this channel and i have to say this is probably one of the best ones in terms of success that we've seen from a player Kevin Durant is doing some big things and he's only 28 years old Mike's 32 so his prime might be coming to a close but Durant has shown that he can take over and play incredible basketball so I feel like we could win at least a couple more rings with this core season is wrapped Shaq wins MVP but we were still elite as a team 70 win seasons are nothing for this squad at this point we won 73 games on the year Kevin Durant made all NBA second team numbers starting to drop a little bit for Durant but it's working man we ended off the season on an 18 game win streak we're just playing great basketball round one oh my gosh we almost lost to orlando we did blow them out in game five as duran had a triple double next up it's going to be the cleveland cavaliers we sweep the Cavs in the conference finals we got the pacers this team isn't too impressive to be honest with you okay we're down two to one earl okay man i'm sorry indiana i underestimated you all we are gonna force a game seven here looking to make a 3-1 comeback and advance to the nba finals this team is just incredible man we come back from down three to one the pacers were getting clamped they only scored 83 points in this one durant a triple double and in the finals we got the utah jazz they're led by john stockton but yeah i mean this team isn't too crazy i know not to underestimate them too much though because the pacers gave us problems last time we're up two to zero early we're up 3-0 jazz will win game four but we beat them in five kd another nba championship another finals mvp that is eight rings for kevin
Kevin Durant and our fourth championship in a row. Now, last time the champion streak ended at four. Let's see if we can win five in a row this time. Maybe even go for six, seven. I don't know, man. Len Bias is starting to regress at 32, which might hurt the team a little bit, but we do have good depth on the squad, so I think that should help us. Another season in the book, Shaq wins MVP. Shaq's putting up some crazy numbers, man. We won 68 games as a team. Kevin Durant makes all NBA second team, averaging a career low 19 PPG. Uh-oh, KD. And Michael Jordan makes third team, averaging about 19 a night as well. We were still the number one seed despite a drop off in Durant and MJ's numbers. In round number one, we're going to take down the Miami Heat. Next up, we got the Indiana Pacers. We sweep them. Conference finals, it's going to be the Cavs. We beat them in five. And in the NBA finals, we got the Jazz. This team looks weak, man. The front court isn't good. I think we got this. Game one will go to Utah. We're going to win game two and three and four, and we'll beat them in five. That is five championships in a row for Kevin Durant, Michael Jordan, and the Chicago Bulls, and, and nine championships total for KD. He turned it up in the playoffs, man. Just look at how much the numbers went up. As we go for our sixth championship in a row, it might be a little more difficult. I mean, quite a few guys on our squad are regressing, but hopefully we can do it. Another season in the books, Chris Webber wins MVP, but again, we have the coach of the year, 68 wins. Kevin Durant did not make all NBA this time, but did, but did it matter? I guess not, because we were so successful as a team. KD's regular season numbers weren't great, but I'm not worried about it. He's the type of guy who turns it up in the NBA playoffs. We've seen that in this video. Round one, we take care of the Celtics. Round two, we take care of the Pacers. Conference finals looks like we're also going to beat New Jersey. And in the NBA finals, it's going to be the Vancouver Grizzlies. They've got a young Allen Iverson as the leader of this team. He doesn't have enough experience. We've been there and done that in the NBA playoffs, man. We're going to go ahead and beat them. That is six championships in a row and ring number 10 for Kevin Durant. Come on, man. This is ridiculous. This is on pace to be the greatest simulation I've done on this channel, man. Come on, Kevin Durant. You're about to become the greatest ever. I don't know how many championships the team can even win at this point. I mean, Michael Jordan, I'm sure the regression is going to hit. It actually hasn't hit yet at 35 can we go for what 13 14 championships before KD retires I, I don't know man the sky is the limit for this team they've done it time and time again when it comes to winning championships I'm really excited to see how the rest of this video goes season is wrapped and the team might be getting old at this point we were still a good squad but we were not the number one seed and I can't remember the last time we weren't the number one seed Kevin Durant did his thing my Mike did his thing. We won 58 games, so we were still solid for sure, but we are by no means the favorite to win the chip in these playoffs. And we barely made it out of round number one. We beat the Magic in five games, blowing them out in game five. Round two, it's going to be the Pistons. We beat them in five. And in the conference finals, we got Miami. They're led by Rick Smith. I feel like our team's better than theirs, though. Yep, we beat them in six. We're back in the finals. Chance for championship number seven in a row and ring number 11 total for KD. Game one will go to the Nuggets. We're going to win game two and three and four. Oh, my goodness, Kevin Durant, bro. You're the best ever. I, that's all there is to it, man. Championship number 11 for KD. Seven rings in a row. Another finals MVP added to the resume. He's going crazy. Headed into this upcoming season, Mike's holding strong at a 99. KD's still a 96, but some of the other guys are getting older. We'll see if this team can continue to beat Father Time. Another season in the books. Kevin Garnett wins the MVP award. Kevin Durant makes all NBA third team. He is 33 at this point. He's getting older. We'd still won 58 games though, making us the three seed. Last year we were the three seed and we won the chip. Round one, we sweep the Atlanta Hawks. Round two, we got the Indiana Pacers. We're tied up at two apiece. We're going to win game five and they win game six. All right, we got a game seven coming up against Indiana. Let's jump in the Simcast. Oh man, we're going to lose. The run is over in the second round. 
We had an incredible championship streak. I can't be that mad about it, man. Another season in the books, KG, MVP once again. Durant makes All-NBA second team at age 34. And the team won 57 games. We're still a good squad, man. It doesn't matter how old these guys get, they continue to hoop. Also, Durant ended up signing a four-year extension to stay in Chicago. Round number one, we got the Bucks. We're gonna sweep them. Round two, we got the Atlanta Hawks. It looks like we're about to get cooked here. Okay. Okay, we won a couple games. Okay, wow. We were down three to zero, and now we're headed to a game seven. This Hawks team is nice with T Mac and Dirk leading the way. And it looks like we're going to pull off the three to zero comeback. We win in game seven, moving on to the conference finals against the Hornets with the multiple time MVP KG, and they've also got Penny. This is another great team. Game one will go to them. They also win game two. We're going to take game three. They win game four. And ultimately, they beat us in five. Kevin Durant, nine points in the final game of the series, but overall a good playoff run for KD. And in the offseason, Michael Jordan is still holding strong at a 99 overall, even though he's 38. And the regression hasn't hit for KD yet either at 34 years old. With the duo of Mike and KD, maybe we could still win a championship. We'll have to see. Season is wrapped. Another MVP for Kevin Garnett. No All-NBA for KD this year. We won 58 games, making us the four seed in the Eastern Conference. Kevin Durant gave us 18 a night. And in round number one, we're going to be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks. We beat them in four. Next up, it's going to be the Cavs. We're down two to one early. We're going to win game four. They win game five. And we win game six, setting up a winner go home game seven. They've got a duo of Vince and Sean Kemp. But I feel like our duo of KD and Michael Jordan is better. Even if they're a little bit old, I think they can still get the job done in this game seven. And it looks like they are going to get the win. And so we are advancing to the conference finals. KD, a monster stat line, 34, 6, and 12. Mike, 38, and 11. And next up, we got the Atlanta Hawks. We're close to making it back to the NBA finals. The Hawks won the first two games, but we took game three. They're going to win game four, and ultimately, we lose in five. Great effort from Kevin Durant, though. Also, Michael Jordan did his thing at 39 years old. And Mike still isn't ready to retire, even after the playoff loss, so he He's going to keep it pushing. We'll still have our duo of Mike and KD. And there goes Mike finally starting to regress. He's down to a 97. KD goes down to a 95. Yeah, the whole team's old. We might see our squad take a step back this year. Another season in the books. And this year was definitely a down year for our squad. We were the eight seed, just barely making it into the NBA playoffs. We might just be a first round exit. Actually, we probably will be a first First round exit yeah we lost in six it's okay Kevin Durant we saw you and Michael Jordan do some amazing things early on in this video now we're getting towards the end both of y'all are old it's understandable that things aren't going as well and Michael Jordan decides to retire at the end of the season so now KD is all on his own it might really get ugly now I guess there's a chance we pick up somebody in free agency to replace Jordan, but obviously those are big shoes to fill. We got Latrell Sprewell for the team. That's not bad at all. But I mean, is he going to be able to fill MJ's shoes? I doubt it. Another season in the books, man. Kevin Garnett has that MVP award on lock. And this year, we won 48 games. We actually got better after Michael Jordan retired. We're the sixth seed in the playoffs. Round one, we're taking on the Hornets, and we're going to get absolutely cooked. Oh, my goodness. Look at how bad Penny, Peja, and KG, along with Big Z, cooked us in game five. They all went crazy. But Kevin Durant is out of here in round one. Solid performance for him, but it's not going to be enough. But he is not ready to retire. He's going to keep it pushing. Kevin Durant is now down to a 93 overall. His age is starting to catch up to him. KG, another MVP. And this season, we missed out on the playoffs, only winning 33 games. Disappointing. I can't say I'm too surprised, though. The team just isn't that great, and Kevin Durant is too old to be out there carrying. 
but he wants to keep hoping he's not ready to retire just yet we do have the draft lottery coming up maybe we could land a good pick we got number eight i'm gonna jump into the draft just to see if there's a chance we end up trading the pick or something that could be a way for us to get some talent that could help us right now and number eight overall we are going to trade our pick all right let's see if we can get somebody good we're gonna trade the eighth pick and a second rounder for clarence weatherspoon and a future first all right that doesn't sound too bad clarence is an 83 overall and we got another first round pick i feel like that was a pretty good move for the team now will it move the needle a ton in terms of championship contention i'm not quite sure honestly i don't really think it will he's down to an 81 after the regression speaking of regression kd's down to a 91 overall we did pick up marcus camby this offseason he's not a great scorer but he can defend at a very high level but man the team is old i don't have too high hopes for this season i have to admit after our offseason moves i wasn't too hopeful for the team but they surprised me we ended up winning 51 games the east was crazy this year so 51 wins only made us the seven seed but we're in the playoffs so we got a chance in the first round we're going to be taking on the new jersey nets and we got swept it might be time to retire old man oh my goodness the first round numbers were tragic and kevin durant has decided to call it a career and what a career it was for kd 11 chips six mvps eight finals mvps 20 all-star appearances six all nba first team appearances and seven all nba second team appearances also kevin durant finished number one all time in scoring third all time in field goals made 12th in threes made first in free throws made the foul merchant he even finished third in assists he was second in steals and first in minutes that's it for the video if you enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace